Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Hanisa Minti Abdul Jalil. My metric number is 141152. Today, my group members and I from Group E of the subject EBS 315 Hydrometallurgy we present on EC2 niching of iron absorption clay rare earth. Clay are typically extracted by leaching with concentrate in organic solution of monovalent cation, especially those of ammonium at ambient temperature from which they can easily be recovered as high grade RE or set product. Due to severe aeron term impact of conventional wet and heat leaching of my REE clays, institute mining of such deposit is considered the approach of choice moving forward in which the ore is not actually mined but the least solution is injected directly into the deposit and recovered in the production of wells or from spring at the foot of a deposit. The extraction of rare earth element from iron absorption clay provides around 30% of the world REE supply and many deposits of such clays are exist outside of China. The REE are extracted through the conventional ion exchange resilience such as NH4 to SO4 and NACL through artificial seawater in percolation type processes. Due to the significant environmental impact experienced through the artisanal mining of such deposits, technically more rigorous approach are sought. An in situ leaching approach envisage injecting leach solution into clay deposit or draining solution from RE deposit through a series of narrowly spare wells. The present study investigate the desorption, diffusion and transport behavior of REE removal is to be is likely to be experienced in these processes. Ion exchange region selection is tested through batch leach and diffusion test using clay bed as well as column niche studies. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nira Fatinazira Nintinazatu Zahir, matrix number 144842. Design I will continue to the part flow chart for in-situ leaching of iron absorption clays rated. So as you can see to the slide, the first and foremost stages of the flow chart itself is selection of mining site. So it is very important to know the mining site because we want to know whether the place have the REE methods or not. And then the next stage is locate the drilling spot. Why we need to locate the drilling spot? Because we want to do the in situ leaching process. The process initially involves the drilling of holes into the ore deposit. A corrosive or hydraulic fracture may be used to create open pathway in the deposit for solution to penetrate. Leaching solution is pumped into the deposit where it makes contact with the ore. The solution burning, the dissolved ore contact is then pumped to the surface and processed. This process allows the extraction of metal and salts from an ore body without the need for conventional mining involving drilling, blasting, open cut or underground mining. After the in-situ leaching, we go to the next stage which is purification of leach aid. In most cases, the rare earth leach liquor contains significant amount of some impurities such as ammonium sulfate, element 3 plus ion, ferrum 3 plus ion, calcium 2 plus ion accompanied by a small amount of ferrum 2 plus ion, plumbum 2 plus ion, and manganese 2 plus ion. Hi, my name is Nuru Izabinti Abdul Bashir. My matrix number is 142219. So next, from the flowchart given, the next step is the precipitation of rare earth. Precipitation is used to form a solid from a solution. In this case, the rare earth elements have to be dissolved by using a precipitant to form a solution in which the solution will undergo precipitation reaction. So, oxalic acid is the most commonly used precipitant for REEs from a solution and the majority of investigators have used this precipitant to separate REEs in the solution from other dissolved ions. This is because oxalic acid has in general a very favorable affinity with REEs. Move on to the next um, steps. 
step, which is filtration of precipitates. When the precipitates of the REEs are being collected, the precipitates are then filtered. Washing the precipitates until it is free of contaminants and convert the precipitate to form the targeted product. And finally, weighing the precipitate and determining, determining its mass by difference. Next, the water residue from the filtration process will then be treated and undergoes wastewater treatment. Adding sulfuric acid, oxalic acid and ammonium sulfate as a leaching agent as well as water to collect high level pond which will be used again in the next in situ leaching. Move on to the next step is mechanical pressing. There are two alternative extraction technologies in use, namely mechanical pressing and also solvent extraction. Mechanical pressing is a simpler way to extract the precipitates. The precipitates are pressed to be compressed. Next step is calcination. Calcination is a process of heating a substance under controlled temperature and in controlled environment. This process is known to improve the coma, tinctorial strength, pigmentary texture, weather stability, light fastness, and also thermal stability of pigment, whereas it has adverse effect on the dispersibility of pigment. A full oil is heated to a temperature of larger than 400 degrees Celsius to facilitate the calcination process. Next, the mixed REOs are produced. That's all for the flowchart. My name is Nur Aizu Azwain Bin Muhammad Sa'ad. My metric number is 143630 and I'm going to present about reaction equation. In situ leaching now dominant technology that can be performed on site that is the example of equation for monovalent salt leaching extraction of REE. During leaching, the monovalent ions are transferred into solution as soluble sulfate or chloride. Solubized REA are precipitated with oxalic acid to form oxalates in equation 2. Finally, the mixed REO are separated in individual REE by the solution HCl and fractional solvent extraction. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nuru Shazni. Comes on with metric number of 144841. Would like to explain about the unit operation of ion absorption scheme. As we know, in ion absorption, all RE mostly present in iron exchangeable ore of weather granite. That is why crushing and grinding or even mineral processing are not applicable and make the RE extracted easily. Ammonium sulfate solution is pumped into the clay deposit to leach the REE at ambient temperature. Then the solution is pumped back to the surface and the REE salts are precipitated. Next, I would like to explain about the concentrations in unit operation. Iron absorption contain 0.05 to 0.3 weight percent REE, which generally more than 60% occur as physically absorbed species recoverable by simple ion exchange leaching. The ores are leached with concentrations in organic salt solution of monovalent cation. Assalamualaikum and hello, my name is Noor Ajin Haris and my matrix number is 1, 3, 4 and 0, 2. So I'm going to explain the other 3 unit processes in easy to leaching iron absorption clay REE. So after extraction and concentration, we move on to purification where reactors or site will form concentration will be dissolved with HCl to produce RE chlorides before separation. In separation, solvent extraction method is used where aqueous feed mixed with organic solvent to form complexes RE ions, then extracted from RE and organic phase by moving it into contact with an aqueous solution, 
when the ions have higher solubility. And the final unit process in this insecurity is refining where REA salts will be turned into metals by molten source electrolysis and metallothermic reduction methods. In metallothermic reduction methods, hydro-REO will <coughs> treated with hydrofluoric acid to form fluoride which is reduced with calcium and the liquid calcium which is separated from the metal. Also residues are then vaporized in a high temperature vacuum process resulting in very high pure red as metal. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Hanif Senti Muhammad Rashidi with metric number 144855. In conclusion, simple divalent electrolyte solutions such as ammonium sulfate and H42SO4 are capable to extract the significant amounts of REEs absorbed on clay minerals such as kaolinite, Haloisite and Montmorillonite at room temperature. Cause of REE's accumulation in iron exchangeable phase of iron adsorption REE deposit. The liquid was then precipitated using oxalic acid or ammonium carbonate, followed by a roasting stage. From in situ leaching method, we obtained that mix. REE oxide Ca contains a significant amount of impurities which purify by means of hydrochloric acid dissolution technique before applying further fine separation technique. New researchers are investigating on non precipitation methods such as solvent extraction iron exchange and liquid membranes due to low product purity of precipitation methods.